The Boeing 787 Dreamliner was supposed to be the crown jewel of modern aviation, lighter, faster, and more efficient than anything before it. Airlines praised it, passengers loved it, and Boeing sold hundreds around the globe. But now, behind the glossy marketing and smooth flights, investigators have discovered something inside the Dreamliner that has stunned engineers and regulators alike. A shocking flaw, hidden deep within the jet's very structure, is raising urgent questions about safety, trust, and the future of Boeing itself. Stay tuned, because what they just found could change aviation forever. When Boeing first unveiled the 787 Dreamliner, it was hailed as the future of air travel. This wasn't just another airplane. It was marketed as a revolution in the skies. Built with more than 50% composite materials, mainly carbon fiber reinforced plastic, the Dreamliner promised to be lighter, stronger, and more fuel efficient than anything that had come before. It could fly farther than the Boeing 767, while consuming about 20% less fuel. For airlines struggling with high oil prices in the early 2000s, that was a dream come true. Passengers loved it too. The 787 came with larger windows, higher cabin humidity, and smoother ride technology designed to reduce turbulence. For the everyday traveler, it felt more comfortable and futuristic, as if the plane itself had been built to serve both airlines and passengers equally. The Dreamliner name was no accident. It captured the imagination of an industry hungry for innovation. But behind the sleek design and glossy PR campaigns, the story of the 787 has been far more complicated. From the very beginning, the aircraft's development was plagued with delays and controversies. Boeing chose to outsource a large portion of its production to suppliers around the world world, from Japan to Italy to South Carolina. This global supply chain strategy was supposed to save money and speed up production, but instead it created a logistical nightmare. Sections of the fuselage arrived late, parts didn't fit together, and quality control became harder to maintain. By the time the Dreamliner finally entered service in 2011, it was already years behind schedule and billions over budget. Still, airlines were eager to get their hands on the jet hoping its promised efficiency would offset the headaches Boeing had endured. For a while, the gamble seemed to pay off. Orders poured in, and the Dreamliner quickly became one of Boeing's best-selling wide-body aircraft. Yet, insiders and engineers had concerns. Whispers circulated about shortcuts in production, pressure from executives to push planes out the door, and questionable quality standards in some factories. Most passengers never heard about these doubts, but within the aviation community, the Dreamliner was both admired for its innovation and watched closely for signs of trouble. And now, with recent revelations about shocking findings inside the 787 structure, those early concerns don't seem like whispers anymore. They sound like warnings that the industry ignored for too long. So what exactly did inspectors and engineers discover inside the Boeing 787 Dreamliner that has sent shockwaves through the aviation industry? At first glance, the Dreamliner still looks like the cutting-edge marvel it was designed to be. But when investigators took a closer look, they uncovered flaws hidden deep within the aircraft's very structure, flaws that could have serious consequences. The most alarming discovery involves the composite fuselage sections. Unlike traditional aluminum planes, the 787 relies heavily on carbon fiber composites, bonded together with advanced adhesives. These materials are lighter and stronger in theory, but cracks and gaps have been detected where sections of the fuselage are joined. Engineers found microscopic separations, known as shimming issues where panels don't fit as tightly as they should. Over time, under the stress of repeated pressurization cycles, these gaps could expand, weakening the structural integrity of the aircraft. Another shocking revelation was in the electrical systems. The Dreamliner has a highly advanced power distribution network, relying more on electricity than previous aircraft, even for systems traditionally powered by bleed air.
But inspections revealed wiring bundles and connections that weren't secured to the highest standards, raising fears of potential electrical faults. For a jet already infamous for its early battery fires, any hint of electrical weakness reignites memories of those terrifying incidents. Insiders also pointed to problems at Boeing's South Carolina plant, where much of the 787 production occurs. Whistleblowers claimed that quality checks were sometimes rushed or ignored to keep up with delivery deadlines. Some reported seeing debris left inside fuselage sections, from metal shavings to forgotten tools, things that have no place inside a passenger aircraft. These may sound like small oversights, but in aviation, small mistakes can snowball into catastrophic failures. Regulators like the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, couldn't ignore these findings. What started as isolated reports quickly turned into a wider investigation. The FAA launched audits, grounding certain Dreamliners until the problems could be inspected and fixed. For passengers, this news is unsettling. The idea that the very plane you're flying on might have hidden structural flaws is enough to rattle even the most frequent traveler. The Dreamliner was supposed to represent Boeing's best, the peak of engineering excellence. Instead, what investigators found raises troubling questions. Were these oversights, accidents of innovation, or the result of a culture prioritizing speed and profits over safety? When the news about the Boeing 787's hidden flaws broke, the aviation world immediately turned its eyes toward Boeing. For a company already battered by the 737 MAX tragedies and years of scrutiny, this was the last headline it needed. So how did Boeing respond? Predictably, with a mix of technical reassurances, cautious admissions, and promises to work closely with regulators. Boeing acknowledged that there were manufacturing quality issues with certain fuselage joints, but insisted that no immediate danger existed for passengers currently flying the Dreamliner. The company emphasized that the problems had been identified by internal inspections and that corrective measures were underway. On paper, this sounded like responsible corporate behavior, but to critics, it looked like Boeing was downplaying the seriousness of the discoveries. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, wasn't convinced either. Regulators demanded a series of inspections, audits, and even halted deliveries of new 787s until Boeing could prove the issues had been addressed. Airlines waiting eagerly for their Dreamliners suddenly faced months-long delays. This wasn't just a technical hiccup. It was a blow to Boeing's reputation and bottom line. Behind the scenes, engineers and whistleblowers painted a darker picture. They claimed that Boeing management had long known about these flaws, but pushed production forward anyway to meet delivery schedules. Some workers at the South Carolina facility described a culture of fear, where raising concerns about quality could put careers at risk. Others suggested that shortcuts became normalized as the company struggled to catch up with Airbus, its European rival. The reaction from airlines was cautious, but noticeable. Carriers like United Airlines and all Nippon Airways, both major 787 operators, demanded clarity on the safety of their fleets. While no airline wanted to ground its Dreamliners, they also couldn't afford to lose passenger confidence. The discovery forced airlines to increase inspections and work closely with Boeing, even as many executives quietly expressed frustration at yet another round of problems with a supposedly next-generation aircraft. For the flying public, the fallout was more psychological. Most passengers boarding a Dreamliner today will never see the microscopic flaws regulators are worried about. But news stories about cracks, gaps, and rushed inspections are enough to shake trust. In aviation, perception matters almost as much as performance. And for Boeing, every new scandal adds to the shadow cast by its past failures. The real question now is whether Boeing can truly fix the Dreamliner's problems or whether the industry is witnessing the slow unraveling of one of aviation's most ambitious projects. Ambi the discoveries inside the Boeing 7A7 didn't just stay within the walls of Boeing's factories or the offices of the FAA. They rippled across the entire aviation industry. Airlines, regulators, passengers, 
and even competitors like Airbus felt the shockwaves of this revelation. For airlines, the timing couldn't have been worse. Carriers such as Japan Airlines, All Nippon Airways, Qatar Airways, and United Airlines rely heavily on the Dreamliner for long-haul routes. These jets were supposed to be the backbone of their fleets, balancing fuel efficiency with passenger comfort. When news broke of potential structural flaws, executives were forced into a balancing act. Reassure passengers while quietly pressuring Boeing to deliver fixes. Some airlines had dozens of 787s grounded temporarily for inspections, disrupting schedules and costing millions in lost revenue. Meanwhile, passengers started asking questions. Aviation forums, news outlets, and social media buzzed with speculation. Is the 787 safe to fly? While regulators reassured the public that immediate safety risks were low, trust in Boeing had already been eroded by the 737 MAX disasters. For many travelers, headlines about cracks and flaws reinforced the fear that Boeing was cutting corners again. The global supply chain also came under scrutiny. Because Boeing outsourced much of the 787's production to factories worldwide, from Italy's Leonardo to Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the flaws weren't just a Boeing problem, but an international one. Deo. Regulators in Europe and Asia began coordinating with the FAA, examining whether oversight had been too lax. This triggered broader conversations about globalization in aircraft manufacturing. Can a plane still be safe when its parts are built across dozens of countries and then rushed together under pressure? Competitors, particularly Airbus, watched the chaos with interest. The Airbus A350, the 787's main rival, suddenly looked like the safer bet for airlines wary of more Boeing troubles. Some carriers quietly shifted orders or signaled that future fleet expansions might lean toward Airbus. While Airbus didn't openly celebrate Boeing's struggles, the contrast between its stable A350 program and Boeing's turbulent Dreamliner saga was impossible to ignore. Finally, investors reacted. Boeing's stock price dipped as analysts warned that each new problem with the 787 chipped away at the company's credibility. Airlines delayed purchases, regulators tightened oversight, and Boeing's rivals gained leverage in negotiations. The financial impact went far beyond fixing the defects. It struck at Boeing's position as the world's most trusted airplane manufacturer. In short, what began as a technical discovery inside the fuselage of the Dreamliner quickly became a global story about safety, trust, and the very future of Boeing in a fiercely competitive industry. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner was supposed to be a symbol of progress, a sleek, efficient aircraft ushering in a new era of aviation. And in many ways, it still is. Millions of passengers fly on it safely every year. But the shocking discoveries inside the jet's structure remind us that even the most advanced planes are not immune to human error, corporate pressure, and the relentless push for profit. The question now is not only whether Boeing can fix these flaws, but whether it can rebuild trust. Regulators will demand stricter oversight, airlines will demand stronger guarantees, and passengers will watch carefully to see if Boeing truly learns from its mistakes. The Dreamliner may continue to fly for decades, but its reputation has already been scarred. This story isn't just about one airplane, it's about the entire aviation industry. It's a reminder that safety must never be compromised, no matter the cost or the deadline. Because when you're 35,000 feet in the air, there's no room for shortcuts. If you found this investigation into the 787 as shocking as we did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. There are more untold stories in aviation waiting to be uncovered, and you won't want to miss them.